The Tide class tanker is a class of fast fleet tanker currently under construction for the Royal Fleet Auxiliary of the United Kingdom. Originally known under the project name Military Afloat Reach and Sustainability Tankers, they will be tasked with providing fuel, food, fresh water, ammunition and other supplies to Royal Navy vessels around the world. The vessels were ordered on February 22, 2012 in an order worth a £452 million. The ships were designed by BMT Defence Services in Bath, England but will be constructed in South Korea and have a projected in-service date of 2016. In January 2015, the keel was laid for the first vessel, Tidespring, whilst the steel was cut for the second vessel, Tiderace. In July 2013, the Norwegian government selected a 26,000-ton variant of the AEGIA design as the Navy's next logistic and support vessel. If a contract is confirmed, the new tanker will also be built in South Korea and is scheduled for service entry in October 2016. Design The four new vessels will be over 200 meters long and displace more than 37,000 tons. Based on BMT Defense Services' AEGIR tanker concept, they are designed from the outset to be more environmentally friendly, producing lower carbon dioxide emissions and being more fuel efficient. They will be among the most environmentally friendly warships ever built. The ships will be double hulled to prevent or reduce environmental pollution from oil spills if damage is sustained to the outer hull, complying with international regulations and allowing operation around the globe. The four vessels will replace the RFA's two remaining rover and a recently decommissioned Leaf class tankers. Replenishment will be provided from three beam replenishment at sea stations for diesel oil aviation fuel and fresh water. The vessels will have a flight deck and will provide a vertical replenishment at sea capability. Ships of the class, on November 13, 2012 the Royal Fleet Auxiliary named the tankers the Tide class. These are, RFA Tide Spring A136, RFA Tide Race A137, RFA Tide Surge A138, RFA Tide Force A139, Norwegian units, no Miss Maud. Potential operators, Australia, the Oegar 18A, a 26,000-ton tanker, is being offered with Daewoo and ASC to the Royal Australian Navy for Phase 3 of SEA 1653 to replace HMAS success with a more capable replenishment ship. If the bid is successful, Australia's tankers will be built in South Australia. BMT's bid is competing against the Spanish Buque D8 Provisionamiento en Combate from Navancha, and the Berlin class from FSG for the contract. On June 6, 2014 Australian Defence Minister David Johnston announced that a restricted competition will be held between Navancha with the Canterbury class and DSME with the Oegar 18A, the winner of the competition to build two ships, these ships will not be built in Australia. See also Tide class replenishment oiler, 1950s class whose names are reused by some of the Mars ships. References External links, BMT Defense, AEGIR Logistic Support Vessel, Mars Fleet Tankers at Navy Matters.